That's spear fishing. Yeah, brah. I feel like I was just on another planet. Hey, I'm Trapper Terry, and welcome to another adventure. So today, my buddy just called me, and he wants me to go spear fishing with him. He says he went out on this rock pile reef, which I'm not going to disclose where I'm going, but um, he claims there was fish everywhere. So I'm going to take my spear and go out there and see what I get. And I'm going to try this new way of filming, whereas I'm going to put this in my mouth while I load my spear. It's just a pull spear, a pull spear. And um, I'm going to actually put it back in my left hand and then shoot with my right hand so I can get a better view so you can see the whole shot and everything. So all right. Follow me along on the adventure. Well, driving to the spot, and um, I sure hope this works. My idea with the camera, how it's gonna be in my mouth while I pull this, the pole spare back and shoot. Gotta keep my eyes on the road. Um, and it's really foggy out. So, I'm gonna go in the water. It's shark season, by the way. They're all migrating. Maybe I'll see some of those. Hopefully they don't take my bag of fish. Cool looking road. No houses, just a few cars. Pretty cool. This is the spot I'm heading to. It's up in a real uh, jungly looking area. So I'm gonna go get them. So we're cruising to the spot with my buddy Dave over here. And are we gonna slay him? We're gonna kill him. We're hoping we're gonna kill him. We're gonna crush him. We're gonna go out here and see what happens. So follow us along this adventure. It's a real beautiful little trail. Nice area. Hopefully the fish swim right into the spear tip. All right. There's a billion jellyfish out here. Hopefully they're not the singing type. Sneaking up on my buddy Dave over here. There he is off in the distance. I'm gonna watch him, see if he spares anything. So as you can see, there's like one rock pile after another out here. Um, they just, they're all lined up. I'm only seeing small fish. I'm seeing like uh, croakers, um, the worst eating fish in the world. Don't ever eat it, it's called a Bermuda chub. I'm not seeing anything good yet, so I'm just gonna keep looking. So follow me along, see what happens, I don't know. <laughs> Nice headshot on this shoe set. Nailed him. Oh, I just saw him. It's a nice one. What are they 
Okay. I will double shoot him. Okay. I will double shoot him. Slain it. Two for one fish. Sheep's head. Sheep's head, man. Too. That's spear fishing. Yeah, brah. Yeah. We're out here in the ocean. This is the way to do it, man. Get a boogie board, put your flag on it. You can float your fish on it so the sharks don't come and attack you. <laughs> Fishies on the grill! Woo, baby, yeah! So I got the sheepy in the bag. Dave got one. And um, you gonna see what else is out here. So follow me along in the adventure. Heading that way, mate. Wow, that was an adventure. Me and Dave went out. We got sheep's head. We got a couple each. Shot another uh, Margate. Got two at once. And uh, what a beautiful day. Look around. Awesome out here. Awesome. This is a great day to be out on the water. Look at all those people in there. They're just standing on the beach. They're watching us. And they're just standing. They could be out here. But I'm glad I'm out here today. You guys ever seen sheep's head before? Never. See its mouth? Yeah. Right there, that's why they call it a sheep's head. It's got a mouth like a sheep. All right, and they so. chew on barnacles. He chews on barnacles with his teeth. And this little guy right here, that the sheep's head actually heard in school. So if you always wondered about that, why they're called sheep's head, it's because their mouth, and they like your herding. This guy's still kicking, so I'm gonna put him away. Sure. Hey, I just wanna show you all just how clear this water is. It's just shimmering with blueness right here. Look at this. Wow, that is killer. All right, so that sheep's head I spared earlier, I'm gonna cook it up. I'm gonna make sheep's head tacos. So check this out. You're gonna need these things right here. Corn tortillas, La Blanca, cilantro, onion, tomato, Lettuce, I, I use white cheddar cheese. You need to cut the fish up into chunks and you're gonna need pepper and salt, breadcrumbs, olive oil, Cholula. All right, next step is cooking it. All right, so I put the breadcrumbs that were just there earlier with salt and pepper right on the fish. You don't need anything, just light, the Italian breadcrumbs I showed you, pepper and salt. And then from there, I'm gonna take this over to this pan that has olive oil in it. I'm gonna turn on the stove on high. And from there, I'm gonna drop it in, pan sear it up, and then put it in the taco. And I'll show you how to do that next. I missed a step. You actually have to take the 
corn tortilla right here. And that's gonna go in the olive oil. Once it goes in the olive oil, you flip it a couple times till it's brown, then you do the fish. Go. Set it right in the pan there. And I wanna get something to flip it with. Actually, I'll just use my hand. Don't, hey, don't try this at home, anybody. I know how to do this. I'm a pro at cooking these little buggers. So I'm just gonna flip it, kind of slide around. You see it sizzling? Nice. That's what you want, a nice sizzle on it. Do it just like this. Now watch this little flip I'm gonna do. A one, a two, a one, two, three, and a... Oh, <laughs> I didn't flip it. Ah, I didn't flip it. I tried, I'm gonna do my fingers. Don't ever try this. Woo! There we go. It's a sizzling. Sizzling, it's still sizzling. Do another finger trick. Watch this. Woo! Yeah. Once it gets golden brown, you take it out, set it on the plate, then you put the fish in. Alrighty, here goes the fish. Couple chunks. Yeah. Turn it down a little bit. It's really hot right now. Just gotta kinda, it takes about one minute. If you do little pieces at a time for one taco, see how the taco is nice and golden brown? It's like an authentic Mexicano taco. Here we go, here we go. Yeah, like I said, don't ever use your fingers. I cook all the time, I burn my hands, I do all kinds of crazy stuff, but I've been doing this for years. I'm a pretty good cook, believe it or not. Um, so there we go, it's getting almost done. The last thing to do is this. Once it's nice and like seared on both sides, if you, don't, if you don't use too much, just a little at a time to make tacos as you go, per person, or you can do a whole big batch, then all you gotta do is take it like this, drop it right on the taco, turn off the grill, bring the taco over here, put a little cheese right here, a little lettuce, you take this pico de gallo, which I called it's cilantro, onion, and tomato, and just sort of mix it together like this with your hand. Real simple. Take a little handful, like that. Set it on the taco. Remember, corn tortillas, cilantro, onion, tomato, lettuce, cheese, pepper, salt, olive oil to saute both the tortilla and the fish, and your last step is Cholula. There it is. Pop the top. Put a little right on there. There you go. And now, the finished product. I'll tell you how good it is. Mm. Wow, unbelievable. I feel like I'm in Mexico, Peru, somewhere, Puerto Rico, right off the beach, having a fish taco. Woo. That's the way to do it. Ah. Mm. See y'all in the next adventure.